Hallberg. I um, am a principal dancer with American Ballet Theatre, and I'm dancing Romeo in Kenneth McMillan's version of Romeo and Juliet, which has been in the ABT rep for about 25 years. I prepare Romeo by first and foremost reading the play. I mean, that's the truest form, the truest essence of, of the characterization of Romeo. I've realized that Romeo has to be embodied by myself. It, ha it has to be, it has to be me. It has to be a natural characterization, a natural embodiment of who Romeo is. And hopefully when I go on stage, the, the translation of David Hallberg to Romeo is, is a smooth one. And so therefore I'm just Romeo. I'm not David Hallberg trying to be Romeo. To me, Romeo is a youthful, exuberant, young, young guy. And I think a lot of it has to do with your own discovery, your own um, motivation, your own um, commitment to how you want to portray Romeo. I have to say, something that surprised me about Romeo was was a personal um, interpretation. Personally, I'm very, uh, I take things very seriously. I'm a very kind of emotional dancer. And so when I met Juliet for the first time, when I met my love, it was very somber and, and serious. And Georgina Parkinson was coaching me and said, you know, it's, it's too serious. Romeo has more youthful vitality, he has more, um, energy to him more more it's it's younger love and then when you get when you finally get married you finally decide to die for her is when the seriousness of, of the decision the seriousness of the love manifests itself physically um, to interpret the role of Romeo because a lot of the time there is there are so many thoughts going on but as a dancer you physically have to translate that and something that I just discovered a couple of days ago um, through my director, uh, Kevin McKenzie, when you meet in the first scene by yourself, it's called, we call it the magical, and um, it's in the ballroom, they've already met each other, but they're finally alone in a room together. And um, for me, it's very, it's very up, so the feeling is, the feeling of, of your body is, is up and back, and so, you keep it very like inquisitive in a sense. You keep it very curious. It's not kind of like comfortable. So physically in that section of the ballet, it's very important to have that kind of tension, to build that tension between Romeo and Juliet. So then when it leads to the balcony scene, everything is, is let go, you know? But that tension in the body has to be set up first. It's very important, I think. Okay.